All right, people, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way you'll know when I upload the next video and you'll be supporting my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Every time I upload a new video, I'll be tweeting. Ladies and gents, almost as you react, and this is Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 Reveal Trailer, the Game Awards 2021. Yes, it's a video game about Warhammer 40,000. I've been bitching about a game from Warhammer 40k universe every time I react to a Warhammer 40k lore video. Uh, I don't know if this, uh, you know, is uh, some kind of a massive storyline uh, game or what this game is. Maybe it's just a shooter. I don't know. But yeah, the newer game with the newer graphics is must it must be better. Warm of 40,000 Space Marine 2 rebuilt with an epic trailer, the legendary franchise written for a spectacular, action-packed experience bringing the Warm of 40,000 universe to be to life like never been on... Okay, wait a minute. Is this, uh, you know, like one of those uh, games that you just, I guess, play and there's a map and you just kill enemies and there's not much of story? I hope it's not the case because I will, you know, buy this game. I will play this because I love Warm of 40,000 universe. New Warm of 40k game is gonna be awesome. So yeah, the galaxy is in peril, entire world are falling, the Imperium needs you. Alright, let's watch it. Okay, this is a trailer, so I don't want to pause, so I'm going to watch this whole trailer, right? And then I'm going to watch it again and pause where it need to be, I guess. I guess, analyze if I can. So let's watch it. Love that. Look at the graphics, it looks awesome. Not even a drop of sweat. I'll draw. Whoa, look at that. What are those bullet holes? I am. All right. Before I watch it again, I guess the game, the graphics is just fucking incredible, right? I mean, uh, in the you know the whole scenarios is just fucking awesome. The way they chose the badass scenes and everything. Damn, just watching that makes me feel like I should play this, regardless of it is you know storyline based game or it's just shoot shooter type of game, just point blank shooting, you know, just purging the tyrannids. That's the game. I don't care if that's the case. I fucking love that. So let's watch it and I'll pause wherever I think I see something. I don't know. But after, you know, I guess reacting to, you know, all the Warhammer lore videos for the past two months, I'm an expert now. <laughs> so let's watch it. <laughs> Look 
Okay, is that a high vault or something? All those towers and one ship is approaching. I guess that's our space marines, right? Arriving there. Oh, there you go, multiple ships. There you go, the emblem. So basically, Tyranids uh, are attacking, right? It's a Tyranid invasion. So, you know, they basically arrived there. So I guess knowing Tyranids, I mean, they were just there. They were stations there, right? Uh, these space marines were on their planet because they can't come from a long distance galaxy because as soon as Tyranid attacks, I guess all the access to the warp gets, I guess, uh, canceled. So I guess they were there on this planet, these space marines. Real guards are attacking them. Company command! This is first platoon! We've lost the square! We can't hold it! I love that one. Okay, so I guess that's the leader, the big one, right? All the students are smaller in size, this one is bigger, right? I like this whole scene, like it just shows the chainsaw type of thing in the hand. And just, you know, staring at them and all the, you know, fighting is happening there. There you go. Okay, I might be wrong, but I think they're supposed to be the Primaris Marines, the newer one. Uh, they are the Ultramarines, so it must be the Eglimon basically created this new type of Space Marine after, I guess, getting res resurrected or something. Eglimon came back in the newer version of the Warhammer, and he created this newer type of Space Marines. Uh, so, you know, him being the head of the Ultramarines, this must be Primaris one. I hope at least it is. That's badass. I love this effect. right there. To all the turners like, oh shit, this is not not something to fuck with. They just all back down. And that's why I think he's the leader. He rallies them to attack. He just cut them down like it's nothing. Oh, that's the badass scene. I love that shit. The eyes, red eyes, and everything. This is fucking incredible. And I think they're a bit taller too, right? I mean, all the space marines are taller, but I think that, you know, looks a bit bigger than, you know, compared to the Tyranids than any other video I've seen. I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing too much, but are Primaris marines more taller than your average space marine? I don't know. Hello, he's just looking there like, oh, shit, look at that. Pros at action, I guess. Are awesome. It's sharp. And see, this is why I love this shit. If he's the leader of the Turanids or something like that, he just he just cut him down like it's nothing. So Turanids obviously their strength lies in their numbers or something, but even then. Primaris money is just like nothing. It's not even a drop of sweat. And the graphics, look at the lighting and everything. I hope game looks like this because I love the graphics. Whenever Modern technology is just, I guess, uh, you know, a real thing for me. Whenever I play the game, I guess. Some people say the graphics don't matter. To me, it really does. So, you know, it makes the game feel more realistic. So this is just fucking awesome. And they run away. <laughs> And that, okay, I just noticed this. What's with the chain thing? He has chain around him. Look at that. And the golden thing, I think all ultramarines have this kind of golden, you know, trim and things type of thing with them. So, if they are, uh, you know, primaris marines, I guess they follow the similar type of, uh, I guess, code for the armor. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Those are the flying tyranids. I didn't know such thing existed. I guess tyranids being so diverse in, you know, uh, how they are. 
by not flying ones. But look at that. It's like they are not already terrifying. Yeah, flying Tyranids. And what is with this? Is Are those the bullet holes? Like the bullet, not just bullet holes, bullets. Somebody shot him in the head and I guess he wasn't powerful enough. But they don't use ballistic weapons in Warhammer, right? I mean, they have, you know, I guess energy weapons. So I know what this is. This is supposed to be something. Damn, Space Marines 2, so I guess that was Space Marine 1, 2, right? Oh, this is the gameplay, I missed, why did I pause it before? Oh, look at the graphics, oh my god. Oh, okay, I need to watch that gameplay one more time. Oh, the graphics are fucking awesome. Okay, I really, really hope that there is a, a convincing story. I don't need it to be a RPG, which probably it isn't. I don't need it to be a fucking open world type of big ass game. None of them is important, even though if that is something that they would be fucking awesome. But that's not even important. Somewhat good enough storyline, great, you know, mechanics of the game. And Warhammer being Warhammer, it would be really fun. But it has to have some kind of a convincing story. I don't know. Even then, I don't care. I would still play this game. Even if it's just shooting type of game. Graphics are awesome and it's a Warhammer game. Why not? So I'll probably play this when it comes out. I'll see you when I'll play it on YouTube, I guess. We'll see. Alright, well, that was Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. It's fucking awesome. When was Space Marine 1? I guess it was a few years ago or longer than that. I don't know. Is this a series that they resurrected or something? I don't know. Right, if you like my Rick Sunday, like, subscribe, check out the Rick Sunday, there's a link in the description, check out the cards, so please check out the cards, and yeah, I'll see you next time.